Taylor Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, August 21st to Monday, August 28th. All right, Aquarius, what we've got going on here is a new moon solar eclipse, and this is going to be in your seventh house of partnerships, commitments, relationships, one-on-one -on -one relationships, especially with other people. It doesn't have to be romantic, okay? It can be a business partnership or a marriage, just something that you feel beholden to and committed to also rules some kind of contract, okay? So there's going to be some new beginning here when it comes to relationship chapters, some commitment that you have to make typically with some other person, okay? That's going to come in here. I think there could be something unexpected, all right, that comes up here some unexpected news or communication um, or some talk especially from people around town some unexpected things happening in your community okay that are going to jump start this new these partnerships that you're going to have in these new relationship chapters okay that's because we do have the solar eclipse in your seventh which is going to be in a trine to uranus right now which is in your third of talk and communication and a people around town also the way that you think and make sense of your life as well okay so i think that's going to happen there while you're doing that, we also have Mars as well in your seventh house of partners, okay? Um, making a trine to Saturn, okay? And Saturn's in your 11th house of goals and where you see your life going, okay? And your dreams and your aspirations and ambitions. All right, and I think what you're trying to do is you're really trying to figure out how you can work with other people in a really disciplined and dedicated way to manifest some of the things that you want to manifest, to have some dreams that you've always wanted to have happen in your life and to be more true to yourself, okay, and have other people help you do that. I also think you're trying to figure out here how to do something new with other people in your life, okay? New relationships that can help you reach your goals, new relationship chapters, maybe with the same people in some way, maybe trying to travel with new people, study, learn something new, meet new people, something along those lines, I think that you're really wanting to do and that you might have some opportunities to do at this eclipse, okay? So I think that's happening there. I also think these new things, new relationship chapters, exciting things you do with relationships that may be different are also gonna open some doors for you to reach some of your goals in a really committed way. That's gonna feel better, all right? That's what's going on there. Now, while that's happening, of course, it may not feel the most comfortable, okay, for any of us really, and that's because we have Venus here, which is gonna be in your um, sixth house uh, of your job, of your daily routines, also rules your health, okay sickness uh, and wellness as well here um you want i think you want to be okay with your health you want to be okay with your daily routines you want to feel good but it's going to be hard uh, because you're going to have to learn how to integrate perhaps some unexpected news okay that happens from people or from your community or things like that into your health into your job into your daily routines okay it may also have a lot to do with money all right and your finances and your income and your confidence and some kind of skills that you're working you may not feel the most comfortable about some money situation or about your confidence or about whether or not you have some skills for your job and I think you're trying to figure out how you can take this unexpected news from other people and integrate it into your daily routines into your practical reality okay into what you do on the day-to-day -day at work all right that you're gonna have to work with while that's going on we've got mercury here conjunct the Sun in your eighth house of changes so I think that there's some kind of ending or beginning that you want to make in your life to do something more true to you that you really want. And I think you're rethinking that. You're rethinking, well, what is it that I really want? And like, do I even want this anyways? You know, and in what way? And how can I change my life to have the life that I really do want? And what do I need to do? And maybe I was thinking about it the wrong ways. Okay, so I think you're starting to go back over a lot of that stuff, all right? While that's happening, okay, we've also have Mars, like I mentioned before, in your um, seventh house of partners is going to be conjunct the north node making you even more serious about other people a little bit more aggressive in some way to get what it is that you want in relationships with some commitments there and then finally we've got Saturn here in your 11th house of goals going direct this week thank goodness okay making it a little bit easier for you to work with other people okay to be more authentically yourself to reach for the future to do more of what it is that you want to do okay any problems that you've had reaching some of your goals or working with other people should hopefully go a little bit quicker and a little bit more easier than it has the past few months with Saturn now beginning to move forward okay so that is what I see there now your card for the week is the ace of swords I've been getting a lot of swords today upright okay this to me is new insights about where your life is going about what you want about some situation in your life that's going on i think you're going to be thinking very clearly this week i think you're going to get some major breakthroughs okay especially with uranus in your third house major new ideas insights okay or news from other people that's going to shed more clarity more light onto your situation and help you really understand what exactly is going on and what you need to do next okay so i think that's what's going on for you this week thank you so much for watching your horoscope if you like it please like it on youtube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and i will talk to you later